Sergio's working fair. He's a seven and a half year old, half year old border collie, and this is his third time across. This is three times the Portugal national champion. Sergio, you're under starter's orders. Now, what you always see is some very different ways of handling dogs. It's not necessarily the same in, the, in other countries as we have here. Agility started at Cruz in 1978 and is now spread throughout the world. And this is one of the reasons that we are fortunate enough to have international competitions. So this is not just a question of just entering this. All of these people have qualified to be here. Oh, just rolled that long jump. Casual contact is not penalised, but that one has actually rolled it. So that, unfortunately, is five bolts. So turning back, just one to go. So that's five. The course time is 38 seconds. So there's five bolts with 2.67 time faults. That puts him into first place. Next to go. Oh, are you ready for this? Right, this is the Scottish lad. This is Peter Dawes, working G. Peter, you're under starter's orders. G is a five-year-old border collie. Another kennel club nine of G hits the spot. So let's hope G does hit the spot too, eh? Quite a challenging course. Sending the dog into the tunnel. Peter hanging back to bring the dog and position the dog ready for the next obstacle. Into the weeds. Look at that for quick weeds. Over the spread. Back turn, just two to go. It's going to be a clear. Yeah, so that's clear in 37.21. Next, next to go is Daniel G with Meg. Daniel is, re is representing South Africa. Daniel, you're under starter's orders. This is a nine and a half year old working sheepdog. This is the third time and third and final year at Crufts. But obviously Daniel is five years old. At nine and a half, she's done her bit. I'm sure he will have another dog coming on to, to replace. So you don't need to have a young dog. I mean, all of these dogs are super big. They've been working with agility for a number of years. And it really does keep the dog and the hand of bits. All bit of a wide turn there, but not too much of a problem. Needs to get a move on, because his course time is quite tight. This big turn here, right, now this final two. That's Daniel. Although his round was clear, he does have 3.47 time faults, and that puts him into second place. Now we have Debbie Martin, representing the Isle of Man, working B. Debbie, you're under starter's orders. This is their third appearance at Cross. Isle of Man has some really wonderful shows over there. Beautiful islands. Let me just work in B through. A bit of a funny back to the air, but B's fine. B's thoroughly enjoying herself. Oh, having a bit of a jump up. Come on, Mum, she's saying, I need to get a move on. Oh, just a bit of a turn the wrong way, so she will have lost a couple of seconds there, but that's not too much of a problem. Needs to get a move on now. Back for the last two. Oh, just dropped up. Oh, what a shame. So she has five faults, but has incurred a number of time faults, so that she's in, it's 15.65, puts her into fourth place. Next to go is Karen McCarthy. Now, this one's had a bit of a trip. Karen's all the way from New Zealand, so she deserves a big cheer. Come on. 
Karen, you under starters orders. She's running a six and a half year old Gordon Setter. And this is a New Zealand champion, Azaro Lady Vienna. She says, dog agility with Gordon Setters is a lot of fun. Well, I hope she has a lot of fun too, eh? Quite a big dog to try and negotiate around. Well, Vienna's actually thoroughly enjoying herself. Well, you might as well. If you've come all this way to craft, you might as well enjoy it. Go back to the corner. Right, now I'm coming across to the other side of the arena. In that one, go on. Come on, V. Oh dear, she was going to... She thought, I might just miss this one out, but Debbie won't let her. Come on, V, be a good girl. But one thing is, B is thoroughly enjoying herself. You might as well get maximum exposure, B. You... <laughs> Cameron decides enough is enough. Well done, Cameron. And she did say that working, doing agility with a golden setter was lots of fun. He didn't see why. Well done, Cameron. Fantastic. Next to go is Radovan Liska from the Czech Republic. Radovan is working lacked a lucky. You under starters orders, Radovan. She's a five-year-old border collie. He's been doing agility since 1993, and Lucy, and lucky, sorry, is his fourth dog. We're just setting the dog up for this. Two, a lot of doing this recall start. Gives the handler a chance to get into the right position, ready for the next obstacle. <laughs> Having to remember that a lot of these obstacles have to be taken from. Ah, oh, what a shame. Just turned his back on the dog and the dog nip, nipped off. But, Lucky doesn't realise that she's been eliminated and is going to have a great time. She thinks she's still in the chance. Go on, Lucky. Back for the last two. Well done, Renovan and Lucky. Next to go, we have Catherine Tasker, working Winnie. Catherine's representing Switzerland. Catherine, you under starter's orders. Winnie is a lurcher and is six years old. This dog is not only a, an agility dog, but also a qualified search and rescue dog. So the dog goes out to look for people that are lost in the moors and the woods. They do an absolutely fabulous dog job. And you will find that a lot of these dogs are trained in a number of different disciplines. It not only keeps the dog's interest going. The dogs do need stimulation. Oh, she did got away with that. You hear it? Catherine calling all the time to bring the dog in, to turn the dog correctly for the right, for the next obstacle. Right, safely through the weeds. Right, just three to go. Come on, Catherine. One to go. Well done. And that she's clear, but has 5.12 time faults. Puts her into third place. Next to go, this is Mark Douglas, representing Wales. Hello, the Welsh are in. The Scots are one side, the Welsh are the other side, so anything could happen. Mark is working Ruby and Australian working Kelby. Mark, you're under starter's orders. This is an agility champion. And Ruby is the first and only agility champion that's come from Wales, so. That's quite an achievement in itself. Very popular, these Kelpies. Very quick, very agile. And you need to have your wits about you if you're working a Kelpie, because things happen really, very quickly. But 
never my turn there, but doing okay. Ooh, just rocked that long jump, but it didn't fall, so he's fine. Come on, Louie, come on. One more. And clear, but just out of time. 1.2 time faults. And that puts him into second place. Now for the Netherlands. One, two. You should hear me now. There you go, I knew they'd be there. Roy Fontaine with Working Flynn. Roy, you're under starter's orders. This is his first Border Collie. And in 2008, they were the Agility Champion of the Netherlands. And also got a silver place in the World Championships in Helsinki. So, obviously, a dog has been doing a lot of winning. Wearing the Netherlands orange. Very proud to wear that. Dog army was back all the way around. Oh, and this one's quick, come on, this one is quick. Just needs to get a move on now to get in this course time. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Is it going to be tight? Is he going to make it? Ah, just outside. What a shame, clear in 1.32 seconds. Puts him into third place. Our tenth dog is Mitty Beyond, who we're with from Sweden. She's working Tux, another Australian Kelpie. So Tux, you're on the starter's orders. So just doing another recall stop. Tux is a six-year-old. This is the Swedish Agility Champion. And it's also the Swedish Obedience Champion, so it's obviously a very talented dog. She does need to get a move. This is 38 seconds on this course. Come on, Chucks. Bit of a wide turn. She is out of time, unfortunately. But there she are. It's real clear in 41.62, which gives her 3.62 time faults. Well, on we go. And this accomplishment is really beginning to build now from Belgium. It's a fewer Uten. Well, good to have uh, a good Belgian contingent with us. Angie, and the starter's orders. Here we go, nine years old. The dog here represented Belgium at the World Championship, which many of these have. Time to meet at the moment, 37.21. Peter Dahl from Scotland leads. The Scottish crowd here, there he is. Don't be afraid to help them on and cheer them on. The dogs love it. Very good turn from this border collie. Bronze medal in the uh, team for Finland in Finland, run. and this is not trained by Theo's wife. Oh, close, 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 close. Lost a bit of time. Watch the clock. 37 to 1 to beat. Nicely into the weave box. What about a little bit of help? Come on, cheer them on. It's Super Saturday here at the DFS Cross. Come on. One more. Yes. Two time points, 2.03, 40.03, puts him into fourth place at the moment. 22 nations representing just how this sport has uh, taken off. Next up now, next up uh, from Poland, a welcome from Magdalena Zielkowski with Mac, the border college, seven years old. Good luck, driven all the way over here to compete at DMS Crafts. Wish them well. Concentration. Now we're ready to go. Still that time to be 37-2-1. Peter Dalli, Tomato is second, and Ron Fontaine third, and we're away. Remember, this is just the first part of the competition. Final tonight. It's Poland. Magdalena Zielkowski. Five.
This is truly now a world sport. It's so good to see the high standard from right around the world into the wee pots. Five at the moment. Coming for home. Help her home. Magdalena, all the way from Poland. We'll be driving to Poland to be back at work on Monday morning. So 5.67, time fault as well. 38.67 in all. Next one up now. It's uh, from Northern Ireland. Who's in from Northern Ireland here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The spring across Tommy from Kirsty Jess. Jack, easy name. Wonderful dog has taken uh, Kirsty to many places she never dreamed of going. Come here, Lord. Oh, stop it. Get on. Less noise, come on. Second time representing Northern Ireland across this job. Sometimes he just tries a bit too hard. Oh, close. Well done, Jack. Really wonderful control between the uh, long jump of the weed balls there from Kirsty and Jack. Let's help them home now. Two left after this one. Come on. Cheer them on, Kirsty, Jess, and Jack. Yes. Northern Ireland's represented. Time bolts and one down. 6.45. 44.45. On we go. 22 in all, remember. And now it's uh, from the United States of America. Let's give a very big hand to Anne Brown, <laughs> Green Street. The border county, five and a half years old. Screen second trip overseas. In fact, in 2008, Anne and Screen were members of the uh, AQC USA Agility World Team at the World Championships in Helsinki, Finland. Under starters orders. Time to beat, remember, 37-21. Peter Dow, Scotland. Mark Douglas, second. Still Rob uh, Fontaine, third. We're running. Good start. Good tight turns. Sport in America, just as it has elsewhere in the world, really taken off. Standard now very high indeed. Good turn, turned in the air there. Annie Brown, the five-year-old. Elimination sign for Dave Andres. But the dogs just love it, don't they? Look at enthusiasm written all over Scream's face. <laughs> just not going quite right, but and Scream and Brown and Scream on it. Run on. Elimination on the right. Now, the next one. Here's one you can support. It's uh, the one from England, Lucy Osborne and Ben. <laughs> ben Bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. A great uh, Olympia 2009, this combination had. Finds this carpet a bit hard to work on, but they're still a great combination. Scotland leading, is this going to be the things to come in the Gold Cup kind of this afternoon? Scotland leading, England trying now. Come on, Lucy. Lucy Osborne from Lincoln. Come, come. Come, come. Right, right. Come, come. Yeah, really question. Good down to there. 22 seconds gone. Time to beat 37 2 1. Here comes the weed pots. In our yard, we're going well down through the tunnel. Looking good. 37, 2, 1, the big, it's going to be close. Yes! England goes into the leads. Lucy Osborne and Ben, 36.4. So Lucy Osborne first, Peter Dahl second now. It's Mark Douglas in the third. Game on. Game on in this international uh, competition. Remember, this is the first of uh, two parts of this competition. Ireland now. Where are the fans from Ireland? Or you can chat better than that, surely. Sheila Man, Sheila Man up with the uh, bitch Holly. Afghan Beardy Cross, uh, the seven year old Holly the first from Dublin. First time ever at Crafts, great occasion. 
They don't come bigger than Crofts, do they? DFS Crofts 2010 is going to be one of the best ever. Here we go. Sheila Mann with Holly. I just take a little time. I'm so big that I can cover the ground. Might look a little slow, but this dog is really covering the ground. Great family dog, this one. Agility, swimming, and would you believe, loves the sausages. Come on, Holly. Doing a great job. Only just fits through the wind poles, but gets there well. Oh. Five it is. Time falls to add as well for Ireland's Sheila Mann and Holly. 14 points to 1, 2, 47 points, 1, 2 goes 12. Goes 12 for the top three, remain the same. Well now Finland, Finland who hosted those wonderful world championships uh, a few years back, the border collie, Rhett. Nina Lila Lila. Five-year-old border collie, Rhett as it's called, Finnish agility champion. And agility too in Finland is big. That's a good turn. Back we go. This is another real good draw to her tight. Looking good. 36.4 over that Lucy Osborne score. And this is getting close. In the weak points. Where's the finish fans? Come on. Nina, Nina, Nina and Rhett. Coming back. This could get very good indeed. 36 6 3 and goes into second. Puts Pinedal into third. Getting into the last few now, and it's Peter Crown. Peter Crown from Denmark. Welcome visitor here with his lovely border colleague, Tempo. Six years old. Six in a few days' time, actually. The highest class in Denmark is class three, and that's exactly what Tempo is in. <laughs> and he's got a great record. Had it for about two and a half years. Keen to get on with it. Get some good tight turns there. Really have got to keep those turns tight now, but keep flowing. And of course, keep flowing, that's when it's so easy just to have that moment's allowance of concentration. Looking good for Peter Grove and Tempo. Into the last third of the course now. Here's the tricky bit. In the lead. 28 seconds gone. Three to go. Time to beat. 36.4. Come on, Denmark. Where are the Danish fans here? Yeah. 38 seconds. Yeah. 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 Very close. So that goes into fourth place. Denmark in the fourth place. Now Spain's Edward Gerard. Give him a big welcome from Barcelona. The big man with the seven-year-old border collie, Mambo. Well, Edward has been doing it for some 15 years. This uh, a dog that's very well known in Spain. Great record. Now. Very energetic and look at all. Dear oh dear. Very energetic it is. Uh, endeavour to help his lovely dog uh, Mambo. But it didn't quite come off. Mambo is just so enthusiastic. First time at Crust, this uh, wonderful international competition is now it's so popular. Some six or seven years in these wonderful DFS Crust championships. Into the week box. Look at that. Just a glimpse of what this dog is capable of, but it's not to be in vain. Elimination of a brain, and give him a hand. Great to have him here. Every girl up from Spain, Barcelona. Well, now it's Italy. Welcome, Italy. It is Francesca Zanti with uh, Shake for Funky. Seven year old boy, Connie Mitch. Francesca, 20 years old. And they won the European Junior Agility Championships and in 2006. 
They're a real combination, this. Again, it's come a long way to be here. A lot of these competitors have driven all the way. They'll be back at work on Monday morning. They love it. And they love your help and support. The dogs love it, so come on. Come on, Funky. They competed in the World Championships in Norway in 2007. And actually were here last year. They're no strangers to this wonderful uh, arena here at DFS Crafts through the tunnel. Time is good, but it's not going to catch this Osborne. 36.4 leading time over the last. Oh, and down that goes. Down that goes. 5.97, I think we'll find. Francesca's anti shape for Bunky. There it is, goes into 12th. And uh, we now come down to the last two. Germany calling. Event uh, for Mission with Ella, the uh, small Munsterlander, four years old. Ella and this dog in a club in Germany where they do a lot of training. <laughs> Last year they started the first time at qualifying for the World Championships. So five. What we've got to realise in a competition like this is, of course, the most happy elimination. Now we get it right. The atmosphere, the nerves, it's all part of a competition like this, particularly when you've travelled and dreamed of this day. And to put it on the line is not easy. Let's give them very much at home. Let's give them a welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Bertisha from Germany. Ella. Sadly, it's elimination, but uh, Ella is going to enjoy being at once again. Actually, two more to come. It is. And the first of those two is from France. Anya. Anya Campan. And here is a very popular competitor indeed, Manic. The three year old Border Collie. Comes from a very long line of working sheepdog. And these competitors, as a combination of impressed wherever they've been, what can they do? Remember, this is uh, part of a two leg competition. Already, sadly, it's come apart. Never mind. Watch them because these are stars. Manu and my companion from France. To your own dear. It's so easy just to get that lapse of concentration when you're as enthusiastic as these dogs. They are such stars and they love it. It's great to have all these international competitors here at the US Cup in Germany. And we have our partner from France. One to go. And one, two, three at the moment. Lucy Osborne for England. Nina Lina Lina from Finland. And then Peter Dahl from Scotland. The one, two, three. This is the first leg and the last to go now from Hungary. Driven all the way over here. It is uh, Anna Ifet with Melian Border Collie. She literally jumped in a car tonight and goes into Europe to compete tomorrow and then back at work in Budapest on Monday. What a competitor. Here we go. Got the silver medal in Switzerland at the FCI World Championships in 2006. Oh, that was close. As she lost time. Turning for home. Remember, if she stays in, she's got a chance for a deal tonight. So this is still important. Come on, help them home. Cheer them on, come on. We're at the DFS Crafts 2010. And we're up. 0.93 the time bomb, 5 to add. And so 38.93 is the final time. So uh, the winner will be Lucy Osborne. The second will be Lena Nina Nina. And uh, then Peter Dahl third. Presentation of awards coming in just a minute. The winner of the DFS Crufts International Jumping Heat 1 is Lucy Osborne representing England with Ben Bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. In second place, representing Finland, is Lina Lina with Tending Chimera. And in third place, representing Scotland, is Peter.